All right, so today we're going to learn how to properly use the Bunsen burner. So let's go over the materials first. We have the Bunsen burner itself. Then we have a striker. It makes sparks. It ignites the gas. We have goggles for safety. And at the end, we're going to use forceps and some magnesium strips. All right, so the Bunsen burner. At the bottom of the Bunsen burner, there's air valve valves. Air valves are like windows. The more you open them, the more the air gets in. You adjust the valves to adjust the strength and heat of the burner. When you're starting, when you're igniting a Bunsen burner, you want the valves to be closed. You can hold the barrel of the valve right here. This shouldn't get too hot. And whenever you're using a Bunsen burner, make sure that your hand is always on the Bunsen burner holding it down. You always want to have your attention focused on the ignited fire. So, the start, we connect the two to the gas valve. Take the striker in one hand. Now, when you're trying to ignite gas, some common mistakes are people hold their hand over the gas, which causes them to hurt their hand, or they'll look over it and try and ignite it, which can cause heat to go into your face. We don't want either of those. So you stand to the side, you have the striker like this, and you ignite it. All right, so lighting the Bunsen burner. We're going to put our goggles on for safety. We're going to make sure that the air valves are closed. And then we're going to turn on the gas. You want to turn on the gas until you can hear it hissing out of the Bunsen burner, and that's when you know when to start igniting it. So I can hear it, my hands to the side and I've ignited the Bunsen burner. Right now, it's a pretty weak flame, but when I start opening the air valves, as more oxygen goes in, you develop this light blue inner cone. This inner cone is going to be the hottest part of the Bunsen burner, so when you're heating something like a crucible, you want to place the bottom of the crucible right above the light blue cone. So, my hands on this Bunsen burner, making sure it's stable. If I need to move it around, this, this barrel right here is still cool. Alright, now for some fun stuff. We're going to light magnesium on fire. So this is a magnesium strip. This is forceps. This is golden forceps. And let me demonstrate the heat differences. So, when there's not a lot of oxygen going in, you can put the magnesium in the fire and it won't ignite. But when we open the air valves, we develop that inner cone. I wish Mr. Barton was here to attend this. Put the magnesium at the top and you've ignited the magnesium. That's because it's hotter up there. All right, I think that's about it. To close the air valves, you're not going to try and blow it out. You're going to turn off the gas. There we go. That's the end of the video. Thank you for watching.